Most of your pie chart questions in this week's homework should be fairly self-explanatory, but there are a couple of tricky ones, so I'm just going to go through these. Um, this question's a little bit of a pain because it gives you a pie chart and it asks you to work out percentages and fractions of a whole collection of poultry that are a particular type. So I'll do one example of each here to demonstrate, but I won't answer the questions that are on there. I'll choose different birds. So, for this particular one here, um, we're asking what percentage are ducks. Well, if you add up all of the birds, you get 180 altogether. So, we need to start with a fraction with 180 on the bottom. The ducks are 36, so our fraction is 36 over 180. 36 out of 180 birds. At the end, we want a percentage. But in order to be able to do that, we need to convert that fraction into a fraction with 100 on the bottom. Now, you can't change 180th directly into 100, so in between you need to try and find a denominator that you can change into 100, a factor of 100. Now, both of these numbers on the first fraction divide by 9, so if I divide by 9 on the bottom, and divide by 9 on the top, I will get 20 on the bottom, which is a factor of 100, and I will get 4 on the top. Converting this to 100, I times by 5, and then up at the top, I have to times by 5 as well, so I get 20 out of 100. Now that equals 20%. We just simply take the number on the top of the fraction over 100, which becomes our percentage. So that's how you do percentages. The simpler one is where you're asked what fraction are turkeys, for example. Um, again, we've got a total of 180, which can be calculated just by adding up the four values, here, 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 and here. We've got 45 over 180. Now, here we don't have to convert it into a percentage. It's a fraction instead. Now that would be a valid answer but it can be simplified so looking at it we can divide the top and the bottom by 9 as we did just now and that will give us 20 on the bottom and it will give us 5 on the top. We can simplify again the top and the bottom are both in the 5 times table so dividing by 5 top and bottom we will get 1 over 4 or one quarter. If you actually look at this section, it actually looks like a quarter. Though you can't assume it's a quarter. You have to do the calculating to be sure, because it could be very slightly more or very slightly less.